headlines, NAEE honors Barkindo posthumously. Chevron denies recruitment exercise. Why Shell may shut down production in Nigeria. Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. The Nigerian Association of Energy Economics has honored the late OPEC Secretary General, His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Sanusi Barkindo, posthumously in recognition of contributions to the global energy community. The ceremony, which took place during the 15th NAEE and IAEE Annual International Conference Dinner and Award Party in Abuja, saw the former president of the IAEE, now a distinguished fellow of the association, Professor Wumi Iledare, pouring encomiums on the late Secretary General, describing him as an energy ambassador who will forever be remembered for the significant impact he made in the Nigerian oil and gas industry and the global scene. The report. In his tribute on behalf of the association, the former president of the IAEE and a distinguished fellow of the NAEE, Professor Wumi Iledari, described the late Secretary General as an energy ambassador who will forever be remembered for his undeniable significant impact in the Nigerian oil and gas industry as well as OPEC at the global scene. He further appealed to the NNPC to name the administrative block and the fort building at the NNPC towers after him for his extraordinary contributions in the energy sector. His Excellency was always willing to participate at energy events organized in Nigeria. Indeed, the great patriotic Nigerian intellectual and administrator of our excellence had just left the global energy scene. You will not be forgotten. I want to appeal to the NNPC Board of Directors and the president to consider the possibility of naming the four towers of the NNBC towers after this man. I will actually recommend, because we have been fortunate in Nigeria to have four secretary generals in the life of Open. And one of the astute administrators the world has ever had with the energy scene is Dr. Bakindo. I wish the NNBC board of directors we name Block D of the NMPC Towers as Dr. Muhammad Sanusi Bakindo Block. Chevron Nigeria Limited, CNL, operator of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPC, and CNL Joint Venture has dismissed news, making the rounds that it is recruiting new staff as fake, warning job seekers not to fall victim to scammers who are offering fake job opportunities in the firm. The false recruitment information is being circulated in several media and online channels by unscrupulous persons and organizations in the name of CNL and Chevron Corporation. Also, fraudulent job offers have reportedly been sent through emails, text messages and phone calls by individuals purporting to be staff or representatives of CNL and Chevron Corporation with the intent to defraud their victims. The company disclosed in a press statement at the weekend. CNL hereby disassociates itself from such false recruitment information and job offers published in any newspaper, website, email poster, handbill, or any other medium. CNL did not make or authorize such publications. Members of the public are hereby notified that CNL does not and will not require any applicant to make payments towards processing any job application. Job seekers are always advised to check the company's website and the national newspaper for job advertisements from CNL. CNL will not respond to any inquiries about fraudulent advertisements and job offers. E.O. Birkin, General Manager Policy, Government and Public Affairs, CNL, said in a statement. The general manager of Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria, SPDC, Mr. Igo Weli, has identified crude oil theft, pipeline vandalism and illegal refineries as the bane of Nigeria's development. 
As consequence, Whaley hinted that the company may shut its production in the country, while listing some of the problems arising from the issues to include exorbitant foreign exchange rates, unemployment and poor infrastructure, maintained that a large percentage of the national budget is diverted to cleanups targeted at reducing the effects of oil spillage occasioned by pipeline vandalism. Heading to Ghana now, the Ghana National Petroleum Tanker Drivers Union has commenced strike action in the country. According to the union, government's refusal to reopen some gas stations that were closed after the 2017 gas explosion at the atomic junction in Accra has affected its members. The union's chairman, George Nyaunu, in an interview said the ban on construction of new LPG outlets is working is affecting their working conditions. Mr. Nyaunu said some unresolved welfare issues are part of their reasons for the strike. With the introduction of seals and tracking devices on petroleum tankers, the tanker drivers said they are suffering from some un unfair treatment by the authorities. In UK now, the UK arm of Gazprom, a gas supplier for nearly 20% of UK businesses, has changed its name to Gazprom Marketing and Trading, GMT, and will henceforth be called SEFE Energy. In the first days after the Russian invasion of Ukraine, several councils and NHS trusts rushed to cut ties with the subsidiary of the energy giant. In April, the German government took over the British arm of Russian state-owned Gazprom after the gas giant announced its announced it exit from its German subsidiary and GMT, a certificate issued by the governmental body registrar of companies, stated, adding that GMT Limited has changed its name to SEFE Energy Limited. It has already changed the name on its website. The company said, adding that the SEFE Marketing and Trading is an agile multi commodity trader and trading partner. In business now, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has commended Remita, Nigeria's leading fintech platform for pioneering the usage of eNaira for payment transactions. The Remita eNaira initiative is the outcome of the CBN's efforts to collaborate with leading fintech and banks to ensure that the benefits of Nigeria's digital currency are speedily realized. Speaking at the 286th Monetary Policy Committee briefing, the CBN Governor, Mr. Godwin Emifili, acknowledged the efforts were ongoing to promote the adoption of Nigeria's digital currency. He gave kudos to Remita for its pioneering role in promoting the use of Inara for everyday use by citizens and businesses. And now... Let's have a quick look at oil prices and exchange rates today.
The oil prices and exchange rates wraps up our news for today. And just follow us on all our social media platforms via Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My name is Naomi Oleribe. Good afternoon.